Three Little Birds is a song by Bob Marley and the Wailers. It is the fourth track on side two of their 1977 album Exodus and was released as a single in 1980. The song reached the top 20 in the UK, peaking at number 17. It is one of Bob Marley's most popular songs. The song has been covered by numerous other artists. Writing and Inspiration The source of Marley's inspiration for the lyrics of Three Little Birds remains disputed. They are partly inspired by birds that Marley was fond of, that used to fly and sit next to his home. Tony Gilbert, a longtime friend of Marley, was present at the time he was writing the song and elaborated, Bob got inspired by a lot of things around him, he observed life. I remember the three little birds. They were pretty birds, pelicans, who would come by the windowsill at Hope Road. However, three female singers from the reggae group I3s who did shows with Marley claim it is a reference to them. I3s member Marcia Griffiths remarked, after the song was written, Bob would always refer to us as the three little birds. After a show, there would be an encore, sometimes people even wanted us to go back on stage four times. Bob would still want to go back and he would say, what is my four pelicans saying? Covers. Equals releases equals, Karen David recorded and released the song on her 2012 EP, Touch. Robbie Williams sings the song in his concert released on DVD. Gilberto Gill recorded and released the song as a single. Billy Ocean does a version on his 2005 greatest hits album The Best Of. Zeggy Marley and Sean Paul recorded a cover for the 2004 animated film Shark Tale and its soundtrack. Connie Talbot released a cover of the song as the first single from her album Over the Rainbow in June 2008. The Postmarks covered this tune on their 2008 LP by the numbers. Alvin and the Chipmunks made a cover version of this song on their 2008 album Undeniable. Jason Mraz also performs this song in conjunction with the song I'm Yours in concerts. Panic. At the disco's frontman Brendan Yuri recorded a cover, which has become well known through YouTube. Elizabeth Mitchell recorded a cover of Three Little Birds on her 2006 album You Are My Little Bird released by Smithsonian Folkways. Black 47 performed this song for Live in New York City, their seventh album. A version of the song was included on the Fisher Price's Little People album Let's Go to the Beach, which featured a number of popular songs performed by the Little People characters. Keith Frank recorded an up-tempo Zydeco version with his solo Zydeco band. Equals other uses equals, baseball player Shane Victorino of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, a fan of Bob Marley, uses the song's chorus as his at-bat music. During his tenure with the Boston Red Sox, the crowd at Fenway Park would sing along whenever Victorino came to bat. The song became associated with the 2013 Red Sox team, who won that year's World Series. At Amsterdam Arena, the song is played during Ajax games near the end of halftime. The song was used in the Full of Life ad for Dan Onaktai Mill Island. In 2012, Marley's oldest child, Sedler Marley, adapted lyrics from the song in a picture book titled Every Little Thing, featuring illustrations by Vanessa Brantley Newton. In 2013, Marley's son, Stephen Marley, with Jason Bentley, remixed the song for an ad campaign by the automobile manufacturer Hyundai in the United States for their Blue Lincoln vehicle telematic system. In 2015, Plymouth Argyle fans sang the song's chorus in a playoff match against Wickham Wanderers. Plymouth Argyle were losing 3-0 with 10 minutes to go, but after the fans began singing, Zach Anser and Jason Banton both scored goals and kept the Pilgrims' playoff hopes alive. Monty Alexander version Monty Alexander recorded a cover of Three Little Birds in January 1992 and, in 1999, he released it as a hit single. The cover was also produced from him and unlike the original the Monty Alexander version is very jazz heavy. The original length is 300. Equals track listings equals. Connie Talbot version, Three Little Birds was released as the first single by British child singer, Connie Talbot on June 10, 2008. It was taken from the 2008 re-release of her 2007 album, Over the Rainbow. Talbot released a music video to publicize the single, which was filmed in Jamaica. 
the release reached number three on the UK Independent Singles Chart, and number one on the Billboard Hot Singles Sales Chart in the United States. Equals background equals, after rising to fame on the first series of Britain's Got Talent, Talbot signed with Rainbow Recording Company and began production of her debut album, Over the Rainbow. The album initially featured several Christmas-themed songs, and the first single, Over the Rainbow Slash White Christmas, was planned to be released on December 3, 2007. The single was then cancelled in favor of an album first release. The album was re-released with more general tracks to replace the Christmas songs, and one of the new tracks was a cover of Bob Marley's Three Little Birds. The songs on the album were chosen with collaboration between Talbot and her management. First Talbot and her family wrote a list of the songs that Connie would sing at her birthday party, and the management then thought long and hard about including the more adult songs, including I Will Always Love You, but Talbot herself insisted. The album was recorded in a bedroom studio, nicknamed The Heart. Equals release and reception equals, Three Little Birds was released as Talbot's first single on June 10, 2008 in the UK and released alongside the album in the US on October 14. Rashd Bidi, writing for Malaysian newspaper The Star, said that Three Little Birds was her favorite song on Over the Rainbow. The single peaked at number three on the independent singles charts in the United Kingdom, and entered the Billboard Hot Singles Sales chart at number two, dropping to three the next week. It then raised back to number two, and, on the sixth week, reached number one. Talbot received attention from the British press because of the single's success, with the Daily Mail and Daily Telegraph attributing her success in America to her appeal to the Christian market, and to the success of her videos on YouTube. Talbot's father, Gavin, spoke about the song reaching number one, saying, When we received the phone call we were driving back from doing a round of radio interviews in London and Connie was asleep in the back of the car. When we told her she just took it in her stride. I just cannot believe that she is number one in America. We are all very proud of her. It is a big achievement a Euro people have just taken a shine to her. He also said it was a big shock to hear she was number one. It is tremendous. As of November 2008, the single has sold more than 250,000 copies worldwide. Equals music video equals a music video for the song was shot in Jamaica in late March-early April 2008. Talbot was quoted as saying that going to Jamaica was the best thing I've done this year. The video begins with images of Talbot skipping through a garden, which is then replaced with an image of her singing on a beach. She then joins a child whose parents had been arguing and plays with them and others in a field, then dances with them on the beach. The children are then lead to a stage where Talbot performs as the others sing and play musical instruments. The video closes with Talbot in the garden, skipping away from the camera. After the success of the single in the US, the Daily Mail attributed much of Talbot's success to her YouTube videos, mentioning that the Three Little Birds music video had attracted more than 82 million views. Equals chart performance equals Equals track listing equals References Footnotes Bibliography. External links, Talbot's Three Little Birds music video on YouTube, full lyrics of this song at Metro Lyrics.